Hello YouTube, welcome to this video and today I'll be teaching you how to make a hat cam for next to nothing. First thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and find yourself a hat. This one, I just picked this up at Goodwill for a dollar or a dollar fifty. Uh, it's a brewer, Milwaukee Brewers hat. I don't really care for the Brewers, baseball kind of sucks in my opinion. And then the next thing you're going to need is a scissors or a sharp object or anything just to poke a hole right through the camera or right through the the little bill of the hat. That's what I believe was called the bill. And you want to go to your local hardware store and pick up. Let me see if I can focus this. Pick up a quarter 20 bolt. Find them probably this size. I picked up two just in case. Picked up this size and this size. I'm probably thinking we need the smaller one. I just picked up both to be sure. Then you want to pick up two washers that will fit the bolt. These are very cheap items. Very affordable for anyone. And what you want to do is you want to poke a hole through your hat. I'm going to try this with my soldering iron to give it a nice clean hole Let's go ahead and poke right through it preferably the center of the hat make it a little bit bigger that way if you use like a soldering iron it'll probably be a cleaner hole and it won't like like the threads won't like destroy the hat. What you want to do is once you get a big enough hole you push the bolt through. You want to make the the hole just big enough just big enough to where it will fit. Oh that was bad. There I made the hole to the perfect size for this bolt. You want it to be just big enough for it to fit through that way it'd be nice nice and secure. And the first thing you want to do is put a washer around the bolt. Put the push the bolt through the bill of the hat. There we go. We got the washer on there. Now what you can do is you can take your camera and screw it on there. I'm going to just use this one because I don't because the can you want you usually use like a smaller camera. Smaller cameras are usually better for this. Cause look how big that is. But the cam the good camera, the small camera I'm using now, is on the tripod. So I can't really use that as a demonstration. But here you go, you can add the extra washer like on the top layer for support if it's kind of wobbly. But there, that should be pretty good. Once again, the bolt size is a quarter 20. I did quite a bit of research just to make sure I got the right size bolt. Because you really don't want to cross thread the, the threads inside your camera. Because that might ruin it. There we go. And I'm going to attach this camera and see how it works. Okay, there. I got my camera on my hat. And this is what it looks like. I'll show you in the mirror, see what it looks like. And there, there you go, you can adjust the hat depending how low it's shooting. You don't want it to shoot too low, you don't want to shoot too high. Pretty much just want to shoot it exactly how you see it. Looks like I got to poke another hole for it to be properly centered. And this will be a lot easier if you had a lighter camera too. This is actually pretty heavy. And we just might have to tighten it up on the back and then I might fix it. There, that's a lot better. So this would be a lot easier if you want to dumpster dive. Like do some dumpster dive videos. Which I might do with this. If you're digging through the garbage you just want to show like what you're doing with 
like so you can use both your hands. This is pretty nice, or you can use it for like driving. This is a nice little mount you can make. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.